Hello everybody, this is Jeff for dtrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this T1 vehicle wiring harness with the four-way flat trailer connector. And this is a custom fit part. It is designed to fit the 2022 Toyota Corolla Cross vehicles. And on a custom fit part like this one, I do recommend for you to go to our website, use the fit guide, put in your year and model vehicle, and it'll show you if this will work for your application. Now this kit here will provide this four-way flat trailer connector at the back of your vehicle to power your trailer signal lights. It is compatible with five pole, six pole, and seven pole adapters that we do sell separately on the website. And what's nice is when you put this together, it will connect quickly and easily. All you have to do is locate your connection points, which will be behind the tail lights, plug in these T connectors, these on the driver's side, this one on the passenger side, ground your white wire right here, and then connect this power wire to your vehicle's battery. Now it does include this black box right here. This is a Modulite tail light converter, and this is to ensure that your vehicle's wiring matches that of your trailer. It is a powered module. That's why it has the power wire here that'll connect directly to your battery, and that's to avoid overloading your vehicle's electrical system. <coughs> Now it does, you can see, come with this integrated dust cover that'll go over this when you're not plugged into your trailer. You can put your dust cover over the terminals to protect it from any damage or from the weather. <clears throat> A few specs on this, the maximum amperage on the stop and turn light circuits is 5 amps per circuit. For the tail lights is 7.5 amps per circuit. And the last thing I want to show you is just how this all goes together. It'll include all these parts right here. Comes with a nice set of instructions that'll describe where your connection points are and how it goes together. But basically what you'll do is go to the rear of your vehicle and you'll take your box right here and you'll take the T connectors that have the yellow wire in it. The yellow wire is for the driver's side. So you'll go behind the tail lights and you'll find the connectors that these will connect right into behind your tail lights. Plug those in for the driver's side. And then you'll take the wire over here that has the green wire in it. That's for your passenger side with the length of wire. You'll run that over to the passenger side tail light. Plug this in behind the passenger tail light. Run your four way out the back towards where you're going to hook up to your trailer. And then this box here, you do want to attach this to a good flat surface so it doesn't bounce around. They do have a tab on it with a hole that you can put a screw through to hold it. Or if you want, they do include this piece of double face tape that you can use to hold it down. Once that's all down, then what you want to do is you got two wires to connect. Again, this white wire with the eyelet on it, that'll connect to a good clean ground if there's one nearby. If there isn't, they do give you a grounding screw that you can drill a hole and put your ground in. And then the last wire is this power wire. And this power wire is what'll go to your vehicle's battery at the front. And they do give you this length of wire to do that with and the connectors. So what you'll do is take a butt connector, <clears throat> put it on there, take one end of this wire, put in there, make your connection, and then run this length of wire to the front. Once you get to the battery, you don't want to connect it directly to the battery. You want to run it through this inline fuse holder. Take another butt connector, connect it to one side of the fuse holder, just like that. And then the other side of the fuse holder, you'll take your eyelet connector, put that on there, and then connect that to the battery. Once that's connected, pop open your fuse holder, take your included 15 amp fuse, insert it in there, push your fuse in, put your cap on there, now your system's all ready to go. <clears throat> if you notice, they do give you some extra cable ties to take up any uh, slack in the wiring. But that should do it for the review on this T1 vehicle wiring harness with the four-way flat trailer connector. 